Hi, my name is Peter McIver. I'm originally from Liverpool. I've been living here for 22 years now. Uh, I've always, for a long time, I've been uh, writing poetry and short stories, but um, I never thought the poetry was really very good. So I never did anything with it. And I think back now, because I, I think I threw it all away, and it was pretty good. <clears throat> so um, about, I don't know, about half a dozen years ago or something, I started to uh, do a bit of performing, which is unusual for me because I've got Tourette's and I don't like being people looking at me, but I've, I've learned to kind of love that side of my condition. And um, so I thought, yeah, I'll get up and perform some poetry. I do some, um, some cover versions of po poems I like, but also I do some of my own. My, my style of poetry, my inspiration is uh, people like um, Roger McGough, uh, uh, one of the Mersey beat, beat poets, stuff like that. Um, and I do stuff about uh, love, life, uh, laughing, sometimes a little bit serious. The last one I'm doing tonight is about uh, mental health. Um, not mine, it's just mental health. The highlights of my creative career, I do some, I, I write the, and direct performance art and sometimes take, take part in it as well. And then um, a couple of years ago, I think it was last year, we, we did one on, um, uh, was on uh, sex workers for the disabled people because I do a lot of work with them. And um, it, was a, it was a stunning performance and it went down really well and everybody was really thrilled and impressed with it and that's kind of like got to be there so tonight would be the last one the mental health one like uh, i said um little gasp at the end and then rapturous applause so uh as long as they they as long as they like it yeah it's uh it's it's a it's quite a serious one but it's uh not too dark. Uh, what's important to me in life, um, while I'm a left-wing socialist, I have certain views on certain things going on in the world. Um, but um, I'm, I'm very old now, so I was born in the bad old days. And disability and any kind of people being on the outside and perimeter of societies are treated a lot, a lot better today, and I hope that, <clears throat> I hope that improves. Um, and I hope um, there'll be more acceptance of neurological uh, conditions like, like Tourette syndrome and hidden ones like, like ADHD and mental health will be more, more open and, and talked about and, and accepted. I didn't mean it, honestly, I didn't. It just sort of comes out that way. I open my mouth and stuff tumbles out. I try to suck it back in, but it's always too late. My mouth needs a two-second delay. <laughs>